All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the easy step by step how to make your website menu drop down. So let's get started. So here's one of my website here. So as you can see, there's no menu right here. So we're going to build a menu to this website here. We're going to create menu right here and down here. So we're going to build the drop down menu here. So let's get started here. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your menu here. So you want to create menu. To create menu, you go here, create a new menu. I'm going to click that. Then you want to name your menu. Anything, any name you like. You can name it main menu. I want to name this main menu. You can name it anything you like. You can name it menu one, menu two, menu three. Let's name it main menu here. So you want to go create menu down at the right side. Now that our menu has been created, so let's add some pages, post, categories, and custom link. That's what you can, as you can see, these pages, you can add pages to your menu. You can add your post to your menu. You can add custom link to your menu. You can add categories to your menu. So let's add some pages here. So we want to add home, privacy policy, about, affiliate policy, blog, contact, and when you finish, you click add to menu. So our pages have been added to the menu, as you can see right here. So let's add some post also, yeah. To the menu. So let's add this. I'll only have these two posts here. So let's add them to the menu. If I like, I can also add custom link. So to create a custom link, let's say you want to create a custom link. You want to name your custom link. What is the name you want to name? You want to give your custom link. Let's give that name there. Where do you want this custom link to go? Where is the URL of the custom link? So maybe you want the custom link to go to the to the home page. So you want to click, you want to paste the URL there. So if someone click on this this custom link, it's gonna take them to the home page. Okay. So let's add. So let's also add category. This is our category right there. So let's add our category. Okay, now that we have added all our pages, post, custom link, categories, and categories. So we want to go here, we want to use it as primary. Okay, you want to use that primary menu. You want to use this menu that you just created as the primary menu. Then you click Save Menu. And let's go back to our website and see how it looks like. How it looks like now. So as you can see right now, there's no drop down here. So let's make things drop down here. You want to make this menu here drop as if we over over to the to the menu here. You want to see something drop down, so let's make it drop down. Let's go back to the menu and make it a drop down menu. Appearance minus. So let's say I want I want the, the about about affiliate policy. I want let's say I want the about an affiliate policy to be under privacy policy. So let's drag it like this. Just drag it to the right. Drag it to the right. Now the 
the about and privacy policy are now under the privacy the about and affiliate policy are now under the privacy policy so let's say i want to make the i want to make the how to how to squat how to bench press app training tips bench press tip, leg press tip. so i want all this to be on that blog so let's draw let's drag it to the right to the right to the right 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 so all my posts are now on that blog so let's say i want to drag which training also on the under the block just drag and drop it there and that is it so when you finish you want to click save save menu down here now our menu has been saved so let's let's see how it look like now So it's now drop down. We now have a drop down menu here. So we've created a drop down menu, as you can see here. So let's say I want this one to be under this. I want this 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 to be under under app training So let's go back again to our menu. So, I want the bench press tip, leg press tip, and weight training to be under up training. So let's drag it again. Yeah. Let's try. Let's drag it to the right again. Drag it to the right. So, bench press tips, weight training, and now under leg. Leg, leg press tips. So bench press tip, weight training, and now under leg press tip. Okay, that's how you do it. Once also, maybe one also. So now let's save and see our menu back again. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, I mean, it looks okay. Now we have this one again as drop down. So let's say I want to I want to bring a drop down for the to the foot also. Let's bring another one, another drop down menu for our website footer. To be the to be the another menu, you want to always go to create menu. So you want to name this menu photo <laughs> menu. So you want to create menu, yeah. Now let's add our pages here. Yeah. Add to here. Yeah. That's our uh, other post also. So the menu and categories. So the menu. Now let me make it, it drop down again. Let's drag it back. Let's drag it to the right. Drag them to the right. So we've created a, a photo menu. Now let's save this menu here. So to make it show out the footer, we want to go to a widget and insert it to the footer. 
So let's go to widget, widget area. So we want to insert our, our footer menu to the footer. Now this sidebar to the footer. So to, we want to look for navigation, navigation menu. So from here, we want to look for the footer menu. And that is it. When you finish, you can name it if you like here. You can give it any name that you like. Then when you finish, you hit update. So guys, that is it, guys. That's how you build a drop-down menu for your website. So guys, if you have any question about this topic here, leave them down below and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.